Hey guys, tonight we're going to be covering a new software released from Patronic called FireMap Pager version 3. This application runs alongside the FireMap server and allows it to send out any sort of paging notifications to various devices. I have two practical applications set up tonight. The first is an SMS server uh, which will send fire and defect reports to my phone. The second is a thermal printer that will print off any events that happen to any of the panels on the Net2 network. In this case, I only have the one panel, but this is scalable to, to many, many panels. Let's have a quick look at the client software and we'll have a look at how it operates. So if we go over to remote desktop, you can see the client uh, software here. In its normal operating mode, it just has the terminal screen at the top, which is great for diagnostics. It can tell you uh, exactly what it's doing. At the moment, it's just listening to fire fire events. Okay, the scripts are down the bottom. Uh, while the program is operating, they are not accessible, but as soon as you stop the program, you can edit and add new scripts. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the scripts themselves. Uh, if you are using this in the field and you're having trouble setting it up, uh, feel free to give Patronic Technical Support a call. Let's start the practical demonstration now. Um, we'll start with the thermal printer. As soon as I silence this panel here, that is considered an active event and we should receive a printout from the printer. It does take a while to print. I think it may be something to do with my settings or it could just be slow in general. Okay, so here's our first event from the printer. You can see the event is classified as an active event device type, panel status, device ID, silence alarms, and the device name is sleep out. That's the name of this fire panel up here. And at the bottom it just has a date and time. Now let's demonstrate an alarm condition. We will test uh, a random device on the system. Let's have a look. We will test a heat device. We'll do lower bar from entrance. I'll just double check that it's isolated. Yep. And let's do a test. Should go into fire soon. Here we go, it's in fire. And let's just minimize the remote desktop client. Okay, so you can see the thermal printer is printing out uh, statuses at the moment. So our first one is the alarm event, the device type's detector, the loop address, which is device 9, its name, lower bathroom, the zone, lower bathroom, and the time. Second event is active, panel status, and the brigade has been called. I've just got a text message through, I'll show you that in a second. And the third event on the thermal printer is active device type module and device name main shed strobe light so if we have a look out the window now you should be able to see you should be able to see the flashing over there that is the strobe light in my shed this strobe light in here is not addressable so it's not sending a notification now let's have a look at the um, text message and I'll show you the contents of that so you can see we have a fire map pager notification. The alarm is at Motley Residence. I've changed the address um, just for the purpose of this video. I forgot to do that last time. And then you can see the device type is detector, the address, and the location. So it's very similar to this thermal printer, um, except it's sending it over text message. <coughs> Unfortunately, with this thermal printer, I can't figure out how to make it take up the whole page. It's just printing down the center column and it's such a waste of uh, thermal paper. But that's the best I could get it uh, with what I had. I had to define the page length because before it just kept printing and printing until it used up the whole roll. So I wasted quite a bit of paper trying to get that working. Also with the thermal printer, I had to make my own uh, DB25 connector because they're not very common anymore. 
I think that pretty much sums up this video. Let's just reset this device now. And we'll put the panel back to normal. Okay. We'll take off silence alarms. And that pretty much concludes this video. I hope this is an informative video. And you learnt a little bit from it. Thanks for watching.